We'll provide the training, and then at the end of the day, we'll issue them certificates through the county fire academy. Uh, that they can, it'll, it'll take some of the training burden off the local fire departments and put it on the academy where we think it should be. Okay, well, thank you for joining us, Tony Johnson. We're going to take thank a you. break. When we come back, we'll talk with the sheriff of Cape May thank County, you. Gary Schaefer. So please stay with us. Thank, thank you. you. That was fun. How far would you go to discover a new treasure? How far to stand on the edge of the earth? To step back in time? To be amazed? How far would you go to lower your heart rate? To heighten your senses? To breathe, really breathe? Your journey begins at njsouthernshore.com, New Jersey's Southern Shore region. How far would you go to feel young again? How far to capture the sun? To walk in the wild? To celebrate new traditions? How far would you go to just slow things down? Your journey begins at njsouthernshore.com, New Jersey's Southern Shore region. Welcome back to the Cape May County Report. I'm Lenora Bonifante, Cape May County Communications Director, along with Freeholder Vice Director Leonard Desiderio. And joining us now is the Sheriff of Cape May County, Gary Schaefer. Thank you for joining us, Sheriff. You're welcome, Lenora. Sheriff, uh, in Cape May County, tell us what the Sheriff oversees for the county. We oversee quite a bit, Lenora. Uh, we have the security for the courthouse, all the Sheriff's officers there. We have a warrants and ID unit. I have a, a canine unit that responds all over Cape May County and to other jurisdictions and they handle explosives, narcotics, arson investigation. Uh, we have bloodhounds for man tracking uh, and we have patrol dogs too uh, that are involved with our canine unit. Uh, we also have a crime prevention unit. Uh, we go out to the schools. We handle about 2,000 children a year. Uh, I have county security that comes under me which is a civilian security force primarily in the county buildings and the park and the social service building. The uh, Cape May County Correctional Center also comes under the office of the sheriff. Uh, we're one of eight in the state that uh, a sheriff does supervise the correction center. And uh, the Cape May County Animal Shelter also comes under the sheriff's office. So we have quite a bit of uh, different departments involved. Now, Freeholder, uh, since you've been involved um, with public safety and overseeing the sheriff's department, the sheriff has uh, many innovative programs that he's instituted um, and recently you were part of the new Bloodhound Academy that graduated. Uh, tell us about that. Oh, that's That was something special and it was the first in the history of the state of New Jersey and of course first in Cape May County and the first class was held here in Cape May County. The sheriff uh, came up with, with the idea and uh, uh, recently we had a graduation of uh, of, of sheriff's officers with with the uh, canine um, from as far away as uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. Sharp, how important uh, is an academy such as this as, as new training? With the bloodhound you're talking. Mm -hmm. Well the bloodhound is a unique dog. Uh, that's how our canine unit actually started with bloodhounds and Sheriff Pelosi years ago. Their primary function is uh, scent and man trailing and uh, they have such a unique nose you know, I could send them into a room of 100 people and they sent it on one article that one person was wearing and out of that 100 people that dog will go up to that one particular person. So we needed dogs trained, we needed bloodhounds trained. Uh, we, we came up with a way to do it at a very cost effective. Uh, we partnered with the National Bloodhound Association. They sent in their uh, premier, premier instructor, mm -hmm. uh, Roger Titus, great guy. Uh, and he came in at no cost to us. The only thing we had to do was uh, put them up. We put them up at the Cape May County Vote Technical High School, mm -hmm. uh, which you're familiar with, that has the uh, hotel motel there. That was at no cost to us. And we just had to supply uh, basically meals and gas for them. We got free training for two of our dogs and we got an instructor certification out of it also. Now, uh, tell us about the, the K-9 unit in Cape May County and how they're utilized by uh, police forces throughout the county in emergencies. Well, they're called out quite a bit, primarily for uh, narcotics, uh, explosive details, and uh, with the fire marshal on earlier, they, they're, they're called out for arson fires. 
Um, we also do a lot of patrol function. We're in Sea Isle in uh, the summertime, along with the Wildwoods with our patrol dogs. We supplement the uh, departments there at their request. And there's a lot of times we're called out of county. Uh, we got a grant a couple years ago for over $50,000 for New Jersey uh, uh, Safe and Render Task Force, which is dealing with explosives. And uh, our officers travel all over the state at the request of that task force. In fact, our officer will be up at the Super Bowl uh, when they have that in the state of New Jersey. Now, you've also um, been known for, for utilizing technology and bringing new programs uh, to Cape May County since you've been sheriff. And one of the programs that you're getting ready to unveil, fine-tuning right now, is a new program called Face Trucks. Tell us about that program. Actually, Lenore, you're going to be happy to know it's up and running. Okay, uh, we'll be hopefully uh, unveiling it maybe within the next couple of weeks. It's on our website, cmcsheriff.net. Uh, Face Crook is a list of all our warrants that we current hold, currently hold. Uh, some of those warrants are as old as 10, 10 years where people have just left the area. But what Face Crook actually is, is you'll go on, you can type in your town, you can type in your street address, but let's say you type in the city of Ocean City. Up will come on a Google map uh, everybody that's wanted in that city. You click on that pin map, up will come the photograph of the person, all right, and what the warrant's about, all right, and you can call us uh, if you know anything about that person. What I'm hoping really is, you know, you might click on somebody and say, well, he's not living at that address anymore, but I think he moved here. And we're going to get some good tips on that, hopefully either through Crime Stoppers or our Tip 411 program that we have. Now, um, so this is where someone can just, they can just put in an address or just put in their area and find out if there's active warrants. They there. can put in their area and like I said, up will come the pin map, mm -hmm. okay, and up will come the photograph of the person and uh, the date of the warrant and some specific information on that. It's all public record. It's just was fine tuning that, trying to develop the software that would pull the warrants together with the photographs because we have two different systems that we had to do that with. And we piggybacked onto a system from Bergen County Sheriff and right now that's the only two sheriff's agencies in the state is Bergen and us doing that. So it was very cost effective and a sheriff from Bergen County was great to make that happen. And then if someone has information they should call the sheriff's department or through the tip 411. Now that's another innovative program that you've been using where someone can anonymously text uh, a tip to the sheriff's office. Tell us how that works. That's totally anonymously uh, done. It's anonymous texting of tips. We could hold a two-way conversation with somebody, totally anonymous. Uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. The information we get in, you know, sometimes we've had communications with one person going on a month about uh, information about narcotics at a house, you know, there's drug problem here, and they, and they would be going back and forth with information, and we'd be responding with questions totally anonymously. And actually, that one case I'm referring to led to a search warrant and uh, seizure of drugs from the house. Now, you also said that, that as sheriff, um, you oversee the Correctional Center in Cape May County, and you're going to undergo uh, renovations there this year are underway. Uh, tell us why they're needed at the county jail and what's going to take place there. Well, that county jail was built 25, 30 years ago uh, to house 188 maximum inmates. We've been as high as 300, all right? How many do we have now? We got about 238, 240 right now, and that's coming into the summer season. Mm -hmm. But the freeholder's been great because we've had to work with the freeholder board and freeholder Desiderio in, in, in pushing for a new jail construction, and we're just about there. The bond was passed, all right? Uh, we got a final meeting coming up on uh, May 10th uh, to uh, fine tune a few things, and I hopefully, with the freeholder's direction here, we're going to go out uh, to bid, I would hope, before the end of the summer. So when do you anticipate that it will be complete? We were told uh, from the day they break ground until day of completion is anywhere from 15 to 18 months. Now, uh, with the large number of inmates that you do have in, in the situation that you have, you've used other tools to try to cut down on inmates walking about and, and you have off-site visiting through video uh, visiting. Tell us about that and how that's helped. Well, we were the, actually the first in the nation to do internet visitation and that has really paid off. It's paid off in multiple ways. It's, it's fundraising. Uh, mm -hmm. We charge a minimum of uh, uh, $10 a visit for, um, for the uh, person visiting for a 20-minute visit. They don't have to travel to the jail. Mm -hmm. They don't have to bring the kids to the jail. Uh, we could conference in 11, 12 people on one single visit. Mom doesn't have to bring the kids mm -hmm. to that facility. They can visit exactly from so home. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win. We've had visits from as far away as Brazil. 
you know. So uh, it, it's a unique system. Salem County's going to it as well as a lot of other uh, uh, jurisdictions now. And um, one of the other things you use that's helped to cut down on um, officers and, and problems within the facility are, are cameras on the officers' bodies themselves. We instituted that uh, last year. I went to the freeholder with another idea and, and he was receptive to that and we were able to put body mics on, uh, on the officers and, and video on the officers. So uh, it's worked really, really well. Uh, and, it, and it offers protection to our officers as well as the inmates too. Sheriff has used some innovative ways and in, in the new technology to upgrade. And you know, safety is is our or is our number one concern with with everyone at the jail, and including uh, the guests that are staying mm -hmm. there, the prisoners. Uh, so the sheriff has brought up some great, great innovative ways, and he's been recognized not only across New Jersey, but recognized across the country with some of these in innovations that Sheriff Schaefer has brought to the office of the sheriff. Now, um, as director of public safety for the county, how important is it for you to have, we talked about the, we talked with the fire marshal today and also with the sheriff to have um, people in these positions who think uh, fast forward and think ahead uh, to in innovative ways to crime fighting. Public safety is, is my number one concern, the safety of, of not only the residents but all of our visitors to come to Cape May County. Anything that the sheriff or the fire marshal have done to help improve either in training or innovative ways uh, to keep uh, keep things moving is, is great. And I think this face crook that the sheriff was talking about uh, is going to be something because everyone knows about Facebook and how, how people like to go on that on a daily. I can just see what's going to happen with face crook. Now one of the other things um, that you oversee as sheriff uh, uh, is the Take Me County Animal Shelter, and you're also the freeholder liaison to the animal shelter. Um, one of the things that, that you're proud about with the animal shelter is that it has virtually been considered a, a no-kill shelter. It has, and for, and for the last three years, and I have to give credit to uh, Judy Davies, who oversees that facility for me. You know, for three years in a row now, we've been considered a no-kill shelter. A no-kill shelter is defined as, you know, a shelter that has less than 10% a euthanasia rate. Uh, you're going to have to euthanize some animals because of uh, demeanor. They're too injured when they're brought to the shelter. But to have a public shelter that must take every animal as opposed to a private shelter that once they get filled, they shut down, all right, we have to take every animal. And to be able to have that and be able to manage that as a no-kill shelter, it's almost unheard of. And Freeholder, they have uh, programs throughout the year where they work to get the cats and dogs adopted uh, in the county and a lot of people donate to the shelter and, and it's a true example of shared services. Uh, it is in a the true county. example and the, and the animal shelter, Cape May County Animal Shelter has become another Cape May County treasure and the, the good people there and as the sheriff mentions Judy Davies and her staff have done an excellent job and they, they do things where you come out to adopt a, a cat, adopt a dog, uh, they have a Christmas party, they have a, a um, St. Valentine's Day party, and there's always something going on there, and it's a great place to visit, and the volunteers have done an excellent, excellent job to make that such a treasure. Okay, well, thank you for joining us, Sheriff. We look forward to see more things coming out of the Cape May County Sheriff's Office. Uh, thank you, uh, Freeholder Desiderio. To find out more about the Cape May County Sheriff's Office, the Fire Marshal's Office, visit capemaycountygov.net. Until next time, I'm Lenora Bonifante. See you on the Cape May County Report. Thank you for joining us.